happy Monday, guys. Happy, happy Monday. Let's see if I can get going live on YouTube now. We get all of our buttons clicked and our and our 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 I's dotted and our T's crossed. Get all of that done before we get into the good stuff. All right, looks like we're good on YouTube. Hello, hello. Awesome sauce. Okay. Well, hello, Jean and Monique. Jean from Tennessee, Monique in Ontario. Awesome. Amy. Um in Ohio and so unfortunately hi Patricia hi Tommy in California and Michelle in Indiana hi Julie Davis hello Martha from Louisiana and Colleen in Wisconsin and Glenda Phillips hello hello Kathy in North Carolina oh thank you for being a nurse and for keeping up doing what you're doing Hi, Shelly. Sunny Minnesota. Well, it was not sunny here. It was blustery, cold, and cloudy. Yeah, we have no idea what day it is either. Hi, Amy from Alabama. So, any toenails tonight? No, thank heavens. Um, and hi, Brenda from Ohio. So, um, today... We were basically leaked the information that the governor is going to close private and public schools for the remainder of the school year. And um, it's all good, though. She's making sure that, you know, all seniors who were on track to graduate will graduate. All children who are on track to um, advance to the next grade will advance to the next grade. Um, the school districts will be in charge of their own um, implementation of delivering curriculum in whatever way capacity they can. It doesn't necessarily need to be graded. Um, so it, you know, so they're kind of basically um, giving them the, the ability to do what they can and when they can't, um, giving them the ability to do as much as they can and um, not hurt the children or anything like that, and not hurt their progress. So crazy, crazy. Um, it's very scary. Um, hi, Susan Richards. Hi, Helen. Hello. Hi, Marcia and Annabelle. Howdy, howdy. So, um, Today, I'm gonna to try something that I, I don't know that I've ever tried before, but I have a backup plan. Oh, whoops, got this a little dirty. I have a backup plan if it doesn't work. So I'm, I'm fully expecting there to be some consequences where what I'm doing isn't gonna work, but I am ready to fix it. All right, so what I wanna do, we all love our wooden signs and we love the box frames and the pallet boards, but they are a one-time use um, deal, right? So take a look at what I'm going to try. I have this old, um, uh, it's not fall anymore pumpkin. I'm sure we're going to have some cute new fall stuff that I'm going to need to make to put up in my house. So this one was an older one. I, um, didn't have it displayed. I sprayed it with water. I'm just going to try to remove the paste and then clean it with my board eraser and we'll just see what it looks like. I am fully ready to like paint some of the inside and see if I can cover up some of that and reuse this board. <sighs> E-learning, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be trying that as well. Um, hi, Nicole. So let's see, so I have sprayed this with water and so I'm gonna get the excess like the thick um, chalk off of here with the scraper. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna kinda wipe this down, like soak up all that chalk as much as I possibly can. And I'm gonna bring in the board eraser because this isn't this isn't too bad. You can see it still, but what if I bring in this fresh clean board eraser and go to town on getting rid of the excess colors. My thought is, even if it looks distressed, well, it's a distressed board, right? And those are some pretty bright colors to get rid of. I need to turn it so that I have a good angle. Give it some elbow grease. And most of the color is going away for sure. I am hitting my cabinet there. Hi, Carrie Fry from Idaho. How's it going? Let's look over at YouTube. Hi, Paula Robinson and Vicki Bain. Hi, Carol Hefner and Laura Stacy. And Laura Clarkson from South Carolina. I hope it's warm by you. Hi, Darcy and Evelyn. Hi, Debbie. And Wanda from North Carolina. Howdy, hello. Okay. Um, this is actually going really well. The other thing, if you don't feel like putting effort into redoing a wooden sign like this, the other thing that you can do is um, you can flip it over and you can use the back, the back side. This is a really cool um, surface that you can chalk on as well. Thanks, Amy. Hi, Stephanie Schwartz. This is our box frame, and so I wanted to experiment with um, washing it off and creating something new with it. So I have most of the color off. There's a little bit of shadowing, and so I just wanna see how much this will cover up. I may want to do a little bit of sanding, which won't be too difficult. If I grab myself a sanding block. Okay. Just kind of get a little bit of this up here, sand it out. Most of it will get covered up. This is really cool. So I don't think I'm gonna need to um, re-paint this at all. Oh my gosh, is this the third time I'm using this? <gasps> it might be because I just noticed some other chalk shadows on here but when you have it all done up it honestly looks really good you can't hardly tell okay so I think if we do it this way we'll be really good I love it okay so we're gonna go ahead and chalk over this nice smooth surface and um, I will fuzz my fuzz my um, transfer that's what I'm doing here let me straighten this up for you because it's a little it's a little wonky we got a mess over here I brought a new one just in case I couldn't make that work 
so more bang for your buck when you just wash it off and have a little um, sanding block so that you can sand it. Hi, MJ. From sunny Arizona. Boy, am I jealous of that. It did. Now, if I hold this straight up, you're going to see, you can see a little bit of those shadows, but I'm covering that part up. The part that is good and clear, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this. with my marker, we'll make this one, and we'll make this one two, which is already labeled, so, but I'm just being very obvious. This is a two-step, um, so this particular transfer is called Rustic Birdhouse, okay? So it's a two-stepper, so I'm gonna do this one first, and it actually says, um, Number one, right up here, it's like the tiniest little number. And then over here, it says number two, and it has registration marks to line up the transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and fuzz this, and then we will um, get to chalk in. Tonight is my first night in this series. So I'm gonna do this all week. So we will have the Feathered Friends collection. Um, I will do like four or five pieces with this collection. There are several really cool transfers that go with this, um, with this collection in particular. There are some very cute birds and some other things. The color that I'm gonna use for the actual birdhouse here is our, um, it's, it's called iced coffee. It's a little darker than almond. So all you have to do is mix a little bark with your almond, just a little bit, to darken it up a little, okay? So that's the color we're using. It is a retired color, which is why I'm telling you about it. And I'm going to, oh, please don't be dried out. It's been a while since I've used iced coffee, apparently. It's very, it's very dry. I may have to just make my own. It's like the end of, yeah, I don't think. I'm just gonna make my own. It's, it'll come back to life, but um, it needs some water and some time to soak in. So I'm gonna set that back over on my shelf and I'm gonna grab our almonds and a mixing dish. You can grab these um, color trays from my online shop. They come in a 24 pack. And I'll use that to mix this with a little bit of a um, little bit of bark. Bark is our darker brown color. Kind of looks like I'm doing peanut butter and chocolate, mixing that in here. It'll be a nice color. Yum. Okay. Just trying to get all those stripes out. When you mix the colors, you'll get like a little bit of stripes. There we go. It's not exactly it because I don't know exact measurements, but it's a nice color that we're gonna use to cover this entire thing. There we go. And I'm gonna use our angled squeegee on this. Hi, 
Leilani from Snowy Canada. I'm sorry it says snowy there. I am not a fan of winter. I didn't wax this one at all. Bark does look like chocolate pudding. 100% it does. There was a little dry piece of chalk on there. I'm gonna need some more of this to get through the rest of it. There we go, we got it all. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth it all down. And put the excess back on this little tray. When you mix colors, sometimes you get these little striations in the color because maybe you didn't perfectly mix it all. And while sometimes that could be like a negative thing, I think it's really cool on a rustic birdhouse. I did fuzz this, however, I think there's a chance that I could have fuzzed it more. This got pretty dry. Maybe because it's so thick. There we go. Okay, so um, there are a lot of little green spots in here that make your actual finished project look rustic. So that's one of the reasons why it is rustic because it has that built into the screen. Now, we need to dry this really well and then I need to apply that second layer and then I can see what might show up behind it and, and what, you know, and I could sand that off a little. But so far, this looks really good. I may have waxed this actually before I did the autumn. If I wax this before, it feels really nice though, but I sanded it too, so. I didn't wax it after I sanded it. Hi, Carol. Oh yeah, sometimes you can't. There's like tiny, tiny one right here, and um, I can take care of that though. So. How, let's see, what do I want to say? Um, this week and some very shortly here, not today or tomorrow, but coming up soon in my VIP group, I'm going to be introducing some new bundles, which are going to be awesome. And I'm also going to be doing a chalk and ink sale. So if you're not in there, I just want to give you the heads up where you can join inside my VIP group by typing add me in the comments. So if you're totally new and you've not seen this before or you're you're like watching it and you're like getting a little obsessed, go ahead and type add me and I'll get you that link to join um, the VIP group so that you can get in on all the info. There are some like tips and techniques and um, I actually am starting, I haven't got it set up yet, but I bought a game that we're gonna play. Um, we can play on my lives, we can play it inside the VIP group, but um, I'm just giving a little bit back. I'm giving back to my um, followers. So um, type add me to get inside of there because um, you wanna, it's kinda like the number one place where I communicate with all my peeps, other than doing lives, of course. I'm going to wax this a little bit more than I waxed the other one because that other one was pretty sticky. Uh, I'm not waxing. I mean fuzz. I say wrong words when my brain gets all scatterbrained. I start saying the wrong words. I mean to say fuzz and I say wax or vice versa.
Okay. All righty. Now I forgot to do the registration mark, so I'm gonna have to just eyeball this, which will be fine because there's a lot to line up. I know I say easy, but then it gets sticky and I... Okay, we got our circles. Lined up. Okay. Now, we're gonna use some sage. I do love sage. We could could have used brown. Let's see how the sage looks. If the sage um, comes out all right and it's dark enough, then we'll just stick with the sage. It's kind of a light color. Mm, or do I want that brown? I'm just gonna look at it. Do I want the brown? <sighs> hmm, I don't know. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, um, I'm gonna try it. And if it doesn't work out, like if it's not dark enough, I will do the brown. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it will work. It's like just the trim color, you know? Trim on the birdhouse. All right, so today is March 30th, which means we have exactly two days left to take advantage of our transfer palooza, which is buy three transfers, get one free, and, and like really one and a half days. And we only have one and a half days left to take advantage of our Club Couture um, special. Never pull by the diagonal. Always pull up and down. Yay! It looks good. It looks good. It's dark. It's just dark enough. I don't have to worry about it. Now, I'm going to add a little something, something to this. So, let me clean up just a little, knock everything over. That's usually what I do. Um, okay, so if you are one of our club members, that means you are actually one of our preferred customers and there's a sale going on right now where you get 25% off all of our um, storage container or storage items. So if you don't know what our storage items are, we've got um, the transfer tote, the um, basics bag for your tools, and of course we have the color case for your chalks and ink. Those are 25% off only for our preferred customers. So only for members of our Club Couture. If you are not a member, you can type club in the comments and you will get the information on becoming a member and all the details. Also, you'll, oh my water, I dropped my water. You will get information on how to sign up. But just a few of the details, it costs $19.99 a month and you get a, it's a subscription service, so you actually get a um, project kit every month 
for your $19.99. And the best thing about it is that you pay $19.99 plus tax each month, but you do not have to pay shipping on your project kit. So that is kind of um, a bonus. Now, as a club member, you actually get, I'm trying to make this straight, you actually get prefer like lower flat rate shipping on all of your orders too. It's only $4.95 per order to have it shipped. So um, kind of a lot of perks when you are a preferred customer. And another cool thing is that we do different, um, different perks like promotions for you throughout the year. So um, there was a sale last month, there's a sale this month. I can't wait to find out what is in April. I think it's gonna be amazing, whatever it is. Um, so, uh, type club in the comments for all that jazz. Thank you, Amy. Awesome. And I will get you guys all that information. It'll come through on your messenger. So, um, just so you know. Let's see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some fun little um, business here. I'm gonna make some little adornments to the little openings here. And so I'm gonna pull out some of this grass. And you know that they don't just have grass, they also usually have some um, like other stuff. So I'm gonna grab some brown little twine pieces and just a few. I'm gonna cut them so that I have one for each and then I'm gonna, I don't know if you ever do this with your twine, it's actually not twine, it's um, jute. And I'm just gonna take this little um, thing and just kind of like frizz it out. And I'm just gonna take it and kind of frizz out all these little pieces and I'm gonna put them in to my mixture of my grass. And so it's not all going to be green grass. So we're gonna do that with a few of these. And then I'm gonna hot glue as soon as I, my glue is ready, we're gonna hot glue these little things onto like kind of popping out of the front of the little opening for the birds, like their little nest. Carol, I saw the brown too late. I know, I thought about it, but I'm really liking this color. So, um, I will be using brown in some of the things moving forward, the bark color actually, more of a dark brown, um, especially for my words. So if I were to put any words on here, I wasn't sure how this would turn out. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna put any words on it or not, because you just never know. Sometimes you just gotta do something and, and, and it works itself out, kind of. <laughs> so I wasn't sure, but if I did, I would put, I would leave that so that I could put brown words on there, the darker brown. All right, so now I have this and this and my hot glue. Why would you touch that, Sarah? I don't know. I didn't burn myself, it's okay. Um, I should use tweezers or something to not burn myself. I feel like I need to like somehow wrap it up into a ball of sorts and then like glue it on there. I'm gonna use my tweezers to hold it, put my glue down so just note that I won't be reusing this anymore after I glue my stuff down. Because it's got glue. I mean, I bet, I bet you could take it off, but 
it'll probably you know mar it up a bit okay now I'm gonna hold this clump and put some glue down There we go. I like having the brown and the, I'm gonna hold that up so you guys can see. You, it'll all come together in the end. Making a little nest. Okay, here we go. If you guys think that this is like, Fun and you're you're a creative soul or you like to be crafty and you can copy honestly you can copy and kind of do this stuff you don't actually have to be very creative because um, the transfers do all the work right like I am NOT artistic at all but I can copy if you have ever thought about becoming a designer like me because I am um, I'm actually an independent chalk couture designer with the company chalk couture. If you've ever thought about doing that um, or you're looking for kind of like a little side hustle that you could do alongside your current job or whatever your current situation is, uh, check it out. Like no strings attached. Type the word team in the comments and I'll send you a link to check out my video. I have a group, it's called my opportunity group, and inside that group I have a video that I put together just for people like you who want the information um, on their own time, basically. They don't wanna have to ask a million questions. You can just kind of, whoops, check that out online. And if you type team in the comments, I'll send you that message where you can link right to the group, request to join, and then send me a little request and say, hey, I requested to join, and then I'll get you in there. Um, it'll all come through Messenger. So, oh my goodness, I just keep sticking to everything. So, yeah, just type team, super easy to do. Oh, I love how this turned out. And I think it's going to be the perfect element for the rest of my, um, my collection series that I'm doing this week with our feathered friends. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let me go ahead and get um, up close and personal to you guys. Here it is. This is our finished project. Now, there's no words, there's no sentiment, nothing's going with this. But as I build each day this week a new part for our Feathered Friends um, transfer collection, you're gonna see how it will all work together in kind of a theme. And so you can use it in a particular room or maybe in like an entryway because the Feathered Friends collection is very much based around, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it is not alive if I don't sneeze, my goodness. My allergies have been so bad because of quarantine and um, I have awful indoor allergies. So, and I, and we have a dog and, um, goodness, I did go out for a walk today. I was hoping it would be better, but then I sat on my couch and my dog sneaks and sits on our couch. So I think that's why, but anyway, all of those things will, um, work together. There's one that has gather. There's one that says bless our nest. So there's a lot of like gather family, um, like that type of words that go with this. So, um, it'll all work together. My colors will be similar. And I know the sneezes. Thank you, Shalise. Thank you, Jean. Yeah, so um, here we go. This is my project for tonight. A reused board, um, box frame board. And so it is possible to reuse that, especially if you just put chalk on it. And, um, you know, the lighter your colors, the easier it is. But just so you know, um, be, 
be willing to try it. These are like super cheap or get some sandpaper um, from, from the workshop or something and um, do that. So day one, part one, a Feathered Friends collection series done and in the books. We will put this back here so that tomorrow when I do the rest, you guys will get to see how it builds upon each other. Um, now is the time to sneeze, I know. This box frame is a nine by 12. And they're super, super affordable. They're right on my online shop if you're interested to grab one of those. Okay, all right. So if you don't have any questions, this is pretty straightforward. Just two colors, two transfers that came together and um, a little hot glue. And I can hold it up so you can kind of see that. Yeah. Now I just need some like little, a little fake birdie to put in there. I do not have one and because none of the stores open that would have a fake birdie. So I don't have one to put on there. But anyway, that's what we got. Thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Same channel, same place. So I'll see you then, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.